The iconic Queen's clock, which previously stood here and gave rise to the name Clock Tower, cannot be traced almost a decade since it was removed to pave way for the Kampala flyover project. The clock was a reference point to many in telling time, especially those traveling from Gaba Road and Entebbe Road. From the time the flyover works began, traffic here has been significantly slowed down. Motorists and pedestrians coming into and getting out of town have had to squeeze and tightly outmaneuver, especially at the junction of Clock Tower. This affected traffic to Mukwano Road, Gaba, Chibuli, 6th Street, 7th and 8th Streets in the industrial area. I've been bypassing there and someone was even knocked. Yeah, just because the competing don't have the, the, the vendors, they don't know, they don't have where at first. So. In crossing the road, it is really terrible. You can easily be knocked by a motor vehicle, a car. I think the best way for the government to, to help us with is the border borders. They are usually using long lanes and uh, it's really costing us as we are crossing over. We apologize for the inconvenience that our road users in Kampala have had to endure during this period of construction. But we know that that is not going to be a long period of time until we complete the project very soon. The UNRWA Media Relations Manager Alan Sempeba says 71% of the works have been done, including the pedestrian walkways. We've also been able to install major or big box culverts around the flyover or project corridor. This is going to ensure that uh, the previous flooding challenges we have are alleviated. We believe once and for all. He added that the construction work is progressing well and is expected to be completed soon. We hope that by December we'll have substantial completion of the flyover and people will be able to use it. Because we had very narrow roads around that area, you know, so we hope that by expanding the roads within that project area, adding other facilities like the flyover, the first one we're going to have in Kampala, we know that uh, this will go in a, lo a long way in alleviating that traffic challenge we have in Kampala. When the project is fully concluded, it is expected to improve traffic flow and drainage around the clock tower area. The project, being undertaken by a joint venture partnership, is being funded by the governments of Japan and Uganda through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, to the tune of 224 billion shillings. Raymond Tamale, NTV.